Hi, so fucking drunk here uh, with yet another attempt at an overview. Uh, I've had, quite, had a, quite a few tonight. Very enjoyable, bit suitably refreshed. So I was away stateside and then I went, got a flight over to Belgium. I knew I'm back in Scotland, so the next beer I'm going to review is a uh, Scottish brewery. It's uh, from the Ken Gons. It's uh, the Blessed Thistle. It's uh, four and a half percent in the Richter scale. We're in here. Let's see what it's all about. There we go. It's a uh, an old top, an old gold top. Not impressed <laughs> with the uh, the old tops. Anyway, the culprit in the glass. Here we go. The, the blessed thistle. Here we go again. Well, that's a good one. A wee bit of head in it. You old kids. It's a bit too much ahead in it. It's actually it's uh, it's it's holding nice together because I took I took this one out of the fridge for a while and I just left it there. So it's probably coming up it's in that uh, little limbo between fridge and uh, room temperature where we want to really drink the beer. Probably a proper temperature for it. Anyway, we'll go in here for a smell and see what we can come up with. Believe it or not, I'm starting to educate myself a wee bit in the hops. I'm getting goldings from that, golden hops. I don't know if anybody's out there and they've tried it, but there's golden hops in there on this brew. I don't know if I'm right or I'm wrong, but hopefully maybe someone will correct me or tell me what it is, but I think it's golden hops. So anyway, we'll go again for the old sofa king drunk taste buds, see what I can come up with. It's quite a nice brew that. Very nice. It's got a, it's got a nice uh, English bitter uh, throwback to it. Uh, you know like some, you're, you're drinking, like this one's only a, uh, don't see what it is, I think it's only 4.5 the Richter scale. But if you're drinking any English bitters, that, yeah, I'm right, 4.5, you can see that, uh, if you're drinking any, any English bitters, a lot stronger than that, this is probably a hold its own, 4.5, it's nice and dark, it's got a nice hoppy taste, I'm nearly sure it's goldings in there, it's got a Goldings flavour hop taste about it. Actually quite nice. Uh, nice and dark, which I like about beers. The colouring. I love the the white head as well. To the beer. This is actually quite a nice beer. A very nice beer. At least it's one of those ones I didn't think I would like, but it can go on. Starting to grow on me a wee bit. So I'm going to get back in here and see what the taste buds are all about before I give it a so fucking drunk rating.
that's a nice heavy beer, a nice heavy body beer, and it has, it's got to have Goldings in it, Goldings hops. Uh, I'm not a connoisseur by any means, but this is a nice beer, it's a nice meaty beer. It's one of those ones where you wouldn't mix it if you, you were drinking this from day, uh, like the start of the evening to the end of the evening. No, no, I didn't mean to say that. If you were starting to see you had one or two pints of this, you wouldn't switch. It's quite an overpowering taste. But, it's actually, it's actually not the worst beer I've ever drank in my life. Well, anyway, I'm going to give it a Sophie drunk rating. And I'm going to give by the King Grons, the Blessed Thistle. I think it's 4.5 in the Richter scale. I'm going to give that, I'm going to give that a 6 out of 10. Because it's not a bad beer. It's actually, it's got a beer with a lot of, for 4.5 it's got a lot of body in it. A lot of character. And it has got an acquired taste, but when you break down, it's one of those ones, like I say, you couldn't jump, if you drank a couple of pints of this, you couldn't jump onto something else. You'd have to stay with it. It's quite a, an overpowering uh, taste to it. Well, anyway, if uh, you've tried this beer before, uh, please feel free to leave a comment if you like what you see on the com uh, the <laughs> the page the YouTube page I'm getting a wee bit suitably refreshed here uh, please leave a comment and uh, basically if you like if you just stumbled upon me you like what you see please uh, Maybe one day again you might meet me for a beer review. So Slanji Cheers for now and take it easy.